guys, welcome back to my channel. This craft is three in one because it has letters, flowers, and chocolates. I'm using some roses, but you can use any type of flowers. It can even be artificial. To keep my roses alive, I will be using this type of foam. You can get it from the craft store or where they sell floral arrangements. Next, we need a pre-cut hard shape out of cardboard. I think it looks best if you use more than six flowers. First, you are going to cut the stem of the roses so it's the height of the foam. I'm going to use the cardboard heart as a template to give the foam shape. First, I'm going to use the X-Acto knife to cut the foam into the heart shape. I actually found that it was easier to just use a ruler so you can cut it from top to bottom faster. Since my foam was small, I had to cut three pieces. Keep in mind that it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Now I'm going to use clear plastic wrap to cover the bottom of the foam heart. To secure it in place, I'm going to use tape. Now I'm cutting off the excess. It's time to add the water to the foam and let it soak for a little bit. Now arrange the roses carefully, making sure that they fit in the heart shape. You can even help yourself by using a paintbrush so that you don't damage the rose stem. Then I use the cardstock and I put it around the heart shape. That way it makes kind of like a box shape. This is kind of how it's supposed to look like. It's fine if yours doesn't look exactly like it. Now we're going to put the foam with the roses inside of the box. To decorate it, I'm gonna use these acrylic gems or plastic gems. And I'm just gonna glue a little bit of this um, pipe cleaner and what you want is that it kind of has a stem so that it doesn't get lost in the roses. Now we need another heart and it has to be a little bit bigger than the previous one. As you can see, it's a tiny bit bigger. We're going to cover the raw edges with a little piece of cardstock. And then we're gonna add on the same exact shape in red cardstock. For the next step, you can use some lollipop sticks or wooden dowels. Using hot glue, I'm adding some glue to the end and putting them all around the heart, making sure that they're spaced out evenly. Also, make sure it's a little bit inside of the border. Now, I'm going to be using these adorable little animal stickers to decorate the bottom of it. And of course, I'm adding on some chocolates. Both of them are gonna be inside. Now, for the best part, you're gonna write the Valentine's messages. The size of the paper depends on the size of your wooden dowel. With the help of a pencil, you're gonna roll it up into a tiny tube. Secure it with ribbon, thread, or string. Whatever you want, whatever you prefer, it's up to you. Make as many as necessary. I think I made about 40, but it's worth it. The letters are in, the chocolates are in place, now it's time for the flowers. The last step is to add this ribbon on not only for decoration, but so it keeps its shape. As you can see, the box with the roses can go on and off. And of course, inside is the surprise. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't followed me on Instagram, then you can go ahead. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed.